Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here with me today and for showing your support. I am super excited to bring you guys today's video, which I'm going to be talking about Reiki. Reiki is one of my favorite things in the entire world because it has literally healed my depression and it has made a huge difference in my anxiety, but it is also a spiritual practice and it's just it's been totally transformative for me. It has transformed the way I think, the way I parent, the way that I work, the way that I treat people. It has transformed my relationships, and it's just overall been a huge blessing in my life. I am a Gende Reiki Ho Shihan, which is a Reiki master teacher, so I am able to certify others. And Reiki is a Japanese relaxation technique that gently removes whatever you're ready to let go of. The term literally translates to life force energy, and it is the eminent manifestation of the higher dimension. A Reiki practitioner's goal is to avoid resonating with negative vibrations such as anxiety, worry, or illness. And a Reiki master is really to be a light for a large number of people. So Yusui Reiki Ryoho was the original Reiki founded by Mikawa Sui, and then Gande Reiki Ho, which is what I'm certified in, is a simplified version. It is considered to be a method of healing the mind and the body. It is a physical touch or distance technique and a spiritual practice that helps one raise their level of consciousness to create a meaningful life. So the purpose of Reiki is to really realize true happiness and well-being. Yusui Reiki Ho, or the original Reiki, was founded by Mikao Yasui, and he was on a quest to attain the state of Anshin Ditsume, which is the path to enlightenment. And he went on a 21-day fast while climbing Mount Kurama, and after the 21 days, he experienced a blow to the crown chakra, and then when he regained consciousness and he realized that he had obtained that state of oneness with the great universe, he began to head home and he realized that he actually had developed the ability to heal. And he knew that it was his purpose to share this with as many people as he could. He had over 2,000 students and he gave master status to 21 of them. So Gandhi Reiki Ho focuses on healing and the conscious practice of self-purification and self-growth techniques in order to enhance your own resonance with the vibration of Reiki. So it is not only something that heals us, but it is a spiritual practice, it's a spiritual lifestyle, and it's really to raise your own conscious vibration and to be a light for others. Modern scientific studies have concluded that the universe consists of vibrations or waves, and Reiki is one of those vibrations. It can be described as the waves of love, harmony, and healing, and it resonates with higher human consciousness. Reiki also believes that to heal is to return to one's original state of perfect health by means of resonating with the vibration of Reiki. And the purpose of Reiki is to be on the path to wellness and happiness. A couple things about Reiki, we do not use our own energy and we do not use our own intentions. We leave everything up to Reiki. All that we have to do is become a clear path for the Reiki healing to flow through us. So I'm not giving my energy to you. I'm not taking your energy on. I'm literally using the energy from the higher dimension and it flows through me to wherever it needs to go because it's intelligent. So how does one become a Reiki practitioner or use Reiki? Anyone can do it. There is no hard training required. The process is pretty simple. For Gande Reiki or Eastern Reiki, you take one class where you learn the history and the second class where you receive the attunements and you learn how to use the symbols. The word attunement means tuning to a wavelength. And in level one, there are actually three attunements, and the number one is to open the Reiki pathway. The second and the third attunements are to purify the Reiki channel. Distance attunements are not allowed in Eastern Reiki. So I understand that there are a lot of online classes coming up, and there's a lot of confusion because if you can send distance healing, why can't you send a distance attunement? I don't have the answer to that, but I know that in Gende Reiki or Eastern Reiki, Distance attunements are strictly forbidden, so 
if someone says that they were Reiki certified online and you want to work with them, I would just be very careful and make sure you see their certification. As far as religion is concerned, Reiki practice has nothing to do with any religious beliefs and it doesn't contradict any religious beliefs. Reiki practice can be harmonious with religion and it can actually enhance your understanding of your own personal religion. There's no conflict between Reiki and medical science. Modern medical science approaches a condition from a physical point of view and Reiki activates one's vital energy and stimulates one's natural healing ability and the immune system. So it enhances the effects of the medical treatment. It's never going to be harmful. It's never going to interfere with anything else that you have going on in your life. Really, this is one of my favorite things. I practice it every day. I share it with as many people as I can. Like I said, it has been totally transformative in my personal life. It has really helped me in my parenting and just overall everything. And there you have it. Those are the basics of Gande Reiki Ho or Eastern Reiki. And I hope this was, you know, insightful. Like I said, Reiki has been totally transformative in my life. I highly recommend it to everyone. It is an amazing modality and it is also a spiritual practice. So there we have it. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you later.